And let me say tonight that this victory here is the beginning of the end for Donald Trump. Four years after his huge victory over Hillary Clinton here, Bernie Sanders has again triumphed in New Hampshire, having established himself as the man of the people. And he wants to help little people, people that, you know, Trump probably would overlook, but he looks at these people and says they're important. The platform that he's running on is something that a lot of people in New Hampshire uh, really respect and uh, would turn out to vote for. However, questions remain whether Sanders, a self-proclaimed socialist, is the right candidate for the Democrats to defeat Trump in New Hampshire this November. The toughest uh, candidates uh, for Donald Trump are going to be candidates, I think, who are much more closer to the middle of the road. Bernie would be a splinter candidate, and I think that's uh, to the benefit of Donald Trump. Like, you know, I don't, I don't disagree with a lot of what he says, but I have a lot of friends who think he goes a little too far. If he's the only nominee, then they might just go for Trump, honestly. Others, however, believe his anti-establishment views make him the perfect matchup to Trump. A lot of what he's addressing and what he stands for kind of contradicts the ideas that Trump has. And so a lot of people who don't really agree with what Trump is saying are more likely to gravitate towards Bernie Sanders. Thank you all very much. Sanders is now back on the campaign trail. The next test, the Nevada caucuses, on February 22nd. It's Damien Burkhardt for BUTV 10.